I've never cooked lamb. Oh, uh, that's not true. Last year we got lamb chops because we're interested in getting sheep, mainly for the milk and um, don't make me say it, but the byproduct of getting the milk is lambs and if the boy lamb comes out and nobody wants to buy them then probably like this, you know? So we found this at Sam's Club the other day. I was doing the grocery shopping and I just happened upon it. And leg of lamb roast is about 3.6 pounds, it looks like. Uh, and we're gonna slather some mustard on it. We're gonna slather some mustard on it. And we're gonna put our zoomies rub because we're addicted to that stuff and we put it on everything. The plan is with this is to cook it. More kind of like we're going to shred it. So I'm gonna to go to like 190, 200 degrees until it's like super tender to where we can just shred it apart and maybe put it in, I don't know what we'll do with it. Were you, were you gonna make some pitas? I'm gonna make some pitas. She's gonna make some pitas and then something like that. So I don't know, it's a thought. But I'm gonna open it up, see what's, see what's doing here. I don't think I'm going to trim it up that much, mainly because, again, I've never cooked one before, but I'm pretty sure, oh, that is a lot. I'm pretty sure it's a lean meat, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so if it's lean, we're going to want to keep all the fat that we can. Yeah, I don't see anything that's too, like, floppy, that's going to, like, whatever and if we put it like this way fat cap up I can kind of push it together but I like little flaps like this because that means we can get seasoning down inside of it like when that happens with like uh, like a brisket you get that that scar where the butcher hung it up a lot of people are like oh man I got a big gash in my meat but that just means I can put the seasoning inside it so yeah I don't need it I don't need that all right so I'm gonna just pat it dry a little bit here. It's not super wet, but I don't know. I'm kind of going off of, even though I haven't cooked this before, I'm kind of assuming it's treated like a lot of other meats. You know, and I want to use a mustard on it because that is something I did look up is mustard apparently, you can either soak it in milk for like 24 hours or something like that. I don't know how long. Or you can put mustard on it as the binder and they say that maybe that'll take away any gaminess. And if we don't like it, we're like, oh, gross. The dogs will absolutely love this. So none of that's gonna go to waste. Somebody's going to eat every ounce of this meat. And it's on Sprinkle's new diet. And it's on Sprinkle's new diet because she has food allergies. Chicken allergy. Chicken allergy. A chicken guardian dog with guardian chicken allergies. And anyway. All right, so this is our Zoomies rub. We'll put a link in the description on how to make it. And if y'all haven't made this yet, what are you doing? Hey, Daddy, what is it making? I'm making some barbecue lamb. Mm. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you only know the word barbecue and you just know that it's going to be good. Barbecue lamb. I have an idea as well on a new way to smoke this instead of using the snake method and having to deal with the, because uh, again, I don't know how long this will take, but in my experience, about three and a half pounds is probably gonna take me about four hours or so. It, it, it all depends. I'm gonna use a new method. Um, I don't know if it's, it's probably a thing online somewhere, but I'm just, we'll talk more about it outside. Come on. Okay. All right, so this is the idea. I'm gonna put it over here. Basically, have a short fat snake that I can add to easier. Let me get my pan here. I'm still gonna fill that up with uh, hot water. That part doesn't change. And, you know, still gonna put the wood chunks on there. But right now, we're just waiting to get this thing up to 250. And 
closet. I'll just leave that open for the whole thing. So I'm gonna put the lamb over here. I don't have water yet. So maybe don't put that on yet, but that'll be what it looks like later on. And then if I need to add fuel, I just throw it over there, you know? So we're gonna run the the vents wide open until we get to 250 and then we'll turn them down to maintain the 250 because um, if I turn the vents down now it's gonna it's gonna, just gonna choke out the fire or whatever but yeah put your coals in let it go up to 250 and then turn them down probably rotate it after a while and uh, again I expect it to take three or four hours at uh, 250 that's gonna be the temperature we want to try and maintain is 250 so again I don't know what the shredding temperature for lamb is but kind of experience wise if I'm doing beef you know I want to be well north of 190 so I gotta imagine it's gonna be similar to that i don't know i might go look it up online but um low and slow zoomies rub applewood smoke I, I don't see how this can be bad if you have any tips for doing lamb again if we end up liking this we're gonna definitely be adding uh sheep and lambs not only for the milk but for the meat and stuff kind of dual purpose here on the homestead and if you like this kind of thing hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button we appreciate it all right, it's been about an hour. I usually, if it was still the snake method, I probably wouldn't test it. Um, but I'm kind of curious what's going on in there. One thing I've noticed though, is it's, it's, it's running a bit hotter than I'm used to uh, with the snake one. It's not a problem. We're still at 250, but this just, I don't know. I gotta open it up. I wanna see what's going on in there, so. That looks about normal. Yeah, let me knock some coals away. Add some more coals. Looks like I might need another block of wood. Oh, the meat, yeah. Well, that's looking good. Getting some good color on it. Yeah. It's getting a little crazy there. That's just we have it open, so. Yeah, no, this is, this is working out pretty good. Let me get a get another hunk of wood here. I'll put it over here. I was gonna close back up, but that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate it too. I'm gonna put this right there. There we go. Okay. All right, all right. So, all right. So we're at two hours and. Um, as far as doing the coals this way, it's been pretty good. It's been wanting to get super hot though, so I've had to keep the vents closed more. I've had to baby it a lot more than I am who I do when I do the snake method. The snake is, I'm not gonna say set it and forget it. That's not right. But it is very much more steady. I'll put it that way. Which one do I like better? You didn't ask, but anyway. Um, I don't know yet. We'll find out. But so two hours where we're looking. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. The bark is really nice. It's like meat and jello. Our temperature is 150. So we could probably pull it off and do slices, but we want to shred it. So we're going to maintain the course 
I don't think I need any more coals, at least for right now. And I'm not going to turn it. So I'm going to just put it back and let it keep going. Okay. Right about five hours of smoking. Super tender. Still bouncy. A little bit of juice on there. I did do a little foil boat here to kind of speed it up in the last little bit there. Really nice bark over the top. We're just going to loosely put a little tent over it. Like that. Let it rest for like 30 minutes or so. It smells really good. It's not quite the same smell that you get with like beef or pork or something like that. It definitely is different, but it looks amazing. And the smell, I, I guess, I don't know. It smells sweet almost like it smells really good. Yeah, it smells really good. So really excited to tear into it. We tried our hand at some pitas. Um, they turned out, they taste good, but yeah, right there, the pita. We're gonna cut them in half, open them up, make little pita things. But yeah, we're gonna let rest, and then I'll get in there and shred it, and we'll see how we did and taste it. All right, so ending temperature, 195 degrees. Let it rest about 20 minutes or so. We're gonna see how it shreds, and then see how we did. All right, all right, so it's gotta shred. Pretty easy. Can I take it? Yeah. Let's see. What do, you, what do you think? It looks good. Yeah. I like it. Can I have a little taste? I like it. Yeah, Georgia likes it too. Yeah. Oh, I mean, even so, I should have cooked it longer. I think. I think it should have went to uh, two hundred. To get it to shred a little bit easier. I like my meat. You like it? Yeah. I mean that's. I mean you don't lie. That's all you can hope for. Right there. Yeah. Daddy, taste this. It's amazing. Is it? Yeah, that's what you want right now. Mhm. Mm